In this question, we're being, a, we're being asked to make A the subject of the formula. What that means is, rearrange it, so A is by itself, it just says A equals. If it says A equals, A is the subject of the formula. So, to get A by itself, we need to get rid of this B. So, it's a plus B at the moment. If I minus B, it will be gone from the left side of the equation. But if I take B away from the left, I have to also take it away from the right side because in an equation you've got to do the same thing to both sides to keep it the same, to keep it balanced. So if I take B away, I've just got A left on this side and I've got C minus B on the right. That has made A the subject of the formula. So that's what we're trying to do with these questions. So slightly more complicated example, but um, it's just following the same steps. We just have to get A by itself again. So I want to get rid of this BC thing here. So it's minus at the moment. So if I plus it, I'll get rid of it from this side. But I've got to do the same to both sides. So I plus it to both sides of the equation. That leaves me with 3A on the left and D plus BC. So I've got 3A by itself. I want A by itself though. So to get rid of 3, it's times at the moment. So I'm going to divide by 3. If I divide the left side by 3, I've got to divide the right side by 3. Because I've got to do the same to both sides. So 3A divided by 3, that's A. And this is the answer. That's B, C, over 3. It says A equals, so A is the subject of the formula. And we're finished the question. Here's another question. Make A the subject of the formula. So I'm going to get rid of the U, so I'm going to minus the U. If I minus it from this side, I've got to minus it from the other side as well. So I've got V minus U equals AT. I want A by itself. I'm going to get rid of the T. It's times at the moment. I'm going to divide to get rid of it. Divide both sides by T. So that leaves me with A and V minus U over T. So A equals V minus U over T. Got A equals, so A is the subject of the formula. That's what we wanted. Okay, a more complicated example here. Um, I've got A here, and I've got A here. So whenever we've got two A's, like or whatever we're trying to make the subject, two B's or two C's, whatever we're trying to make the subject, um, we have to get them on the same side and everything else on the other side and then we have to factorize so let me show you what we're doing here i'm going to get the a's on this the left side and everything else onto the right side so i'm going to take away 5a from both sides of the equation that leaves me with a b minus 5a plus 4b equals 7b so both the A's are on the same side. Everything else has to go to the other side. So I'm going to take away 4B. So I've got AB minus 5A equals 7B take away 4B. We can write as 3B. So I've got the A's on the same side. Everything else on the other side. I don't want A here and here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to factorize. I'm going to take it out. So make a bracket. A times B makes AB. A times minus 5 makes the minus 5A. So I've factorised it out. And then I can divide by D minus 5 to get A by itself. Because they're times at the moment. So if I divide by B minus 5, divide both sides. Because I've got to do the same thing to both sides. So that cancels out. That is with A equals 3B over B minus 5. Okay, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go. Okay, so the first one, we want to make A the subject again. So, I need to get rid of this plus 3, so we're going to minus 3 from both sides. So, A equals B minus 3. Okay, I want to get rid of the BC first here. So, I'm going to minus BC from both sides. 
that would have left me with 4a equals d minus bc. And then I need to divide by 4 to get a by itself. So a is d minus bc over 4. Okay, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. I want to take away the u squared first. So v squared minus u squared equals 2as. And then this a is multiplied by 2 and s. So I need to divide by 2s to get a by itself. The 2s is going to cancel. So that will just leave us with a on, on the right side equals v squared minus u squared over 2s. That's the final answer. Okay, number four. Um, we need to plus b first to get a squared by itself. So that leaves us with a squared equals c plus b. And to get a by itself, we have to do the opposite of squaring. And the opposite of squaring is square rooting. So a equals the square root of c plus b. And we've got the harder example here. We need to get the two a's on the same side and everything else on the other side. So I'm going to take 2a, that leaves me with abc minus 2a plus b is c. Take b off to get everything away from the a's. So abc minus 2a is c minus b. I want to get a the a's out, so I'm going to factorise it out. A a times bc makes abc, and a times minus 2 makes minus 2a. And then I'm going to divide by this. So divide by bc minus 2, divide by bc minus 2. They cancel, so I've got a equals c minus b over bc minus 2. And that's the final answer.